Hey folks, Ray from Love you RV. So today I'm going to give you a look at another beautiful camping opportunity on Vancouver Island. Uh, French Beach Provincial Park. So you can see it's located right on the southern tip of Vancouver Island, pretty close to Victoria, across from uh, the Olympic Peninsula and Olympic National Park in Washington State. Zoom down in here. I actually lived in Victoria for nearly 50 years, and I never camped out at uh, French Beach Provincial Park, so this would actually be my first time going there and camping. I uh, hear recently, I don't know, maybe within the last decade, they've improved some of the, the camping and extended some of the sites. So when I looked online, I found a site that was actually 70 feet long, so it could handle our RV no problem. Uh, also, it's a good base station for exploring out on the southern west coast here, the island out towards Port Renfrew. There's a, a Juan de Fuca Provincial Park out here with all kinds of neat hiking and beaches, stuff like that. And it's pretty close to the, the town of Souk right here. Just zoom right in here, give you a closer look at the beach. So it's got a quite a long beach in front of the campground. We were there mostly during the day, it was high tide, so it didn't expose much of the, the actual sand, but it's got quite a rocky beach, and then it has kind of a sandy uh, floor at, at uh, lower tide. Over here is the the campground right here, and we were right in here, I think we had site 35. There's some some sites that are closer to the, the beach where you can actually see a little bit through the trees and you can hear the waves. But over here was a little more private. It was kind of backed onto a ravine. If you look at their campground map here, you can see there's around 50 sites or so in here. And like I say, we were up here. I'm gonna, in this video, take a drive around and give you a look at the, the campground and also We'll go down to the beach and spend some time on the beach and give you a look at the beach. Um, we were there in uh, late May. There wasn't really too many people around. I think the campground was kind of in the half full stage and hardly anybody on the beach when we went down there. Uh, it's all it's all primitive camping. You just get a fire ring and a picnic table. But they do have a dump station here just across the highway and it has a, a two-sided dump lane. i just give you some photos. Uh, they charge five dollars coin. You can put coins in. You know in Canada you have loonies and toonies and quarters. So you put five bucks in and then it opens a flap for you so you can dump. And then they also have a a water fill. I found the water fill is actually very slow though but uh, the dump station is uh, easy to access in and out so not too bad there. They also have a big parking area here for day use because a lot of people can come and walk down and enjoy the beach. There's picnic tables, stuff like that. Anyway, let's get showing you the campground and then we'll go out onto the beach for a little uh, little beach combing. Oh, also, um, if you want to see any more from Vancouver Island, I'll link to a playlist. I've got 63 videos related to Vancouver Island now. All kinds of different uh, campgrounds we've been to around the island. So I'll give you a quick look at the campsite here. This is number 35. I picked it because it, it said it was 70 feet long and it probably is. Got our 30 foot fifth wheel here and our 21 foot truck and still lots of room up front. It's a little narrow getting in but I managed to slide her in there. Blind back in of course. I picked this one because it looked like it had lots of uh, sky here. So somewhere in the mid-afternoon till around four o'clock I get some decent solar on my rooftop panels and I've also deployed my ground panels there. And also there's lots of privacy here. You can hardly notice the campers on either side of us. Lots of vegetation. But you don't get much cell service here. Even the Canadian cell plans are sort of spotty, just on the edge. Right now I actually have my cell booster antenna I've put on top of my flagpole up there. And I'm actually reaching across and picking up uh, cell service out of the US. I have a US plan from when I was down there, so <laughs> I have it activated here just so I could pick up some data and I am actually am picking up pretty good signal. 
Let's take you down here. Another reason I picked this spot was it's on the edge of a ravine, so there's going to be nothing behind us. Down in there, there's a little creek that flows down towards the ocean. Another cool spot. <clears throat> so picnic table and fire pit, that's about all you get. There is a uh, drinking water spigots scattered around the campsite, three or four of them, and vault toilets and garbage. Maybe we'll get in the truck and I'll just take a drive around. It's not a very big campground, maybe 50-ish sites. So here we go. See what I mean? All these are kind of angled. That's blind back ends, meaning you have to back in on the passenger side. And then the ones that are on this side are too tight to come in on the driver's side, so you have to come the other way and blind back in. It's like they uh, did it all uh, bass backwards. Pretty common for a lot of these provincial sites to be uh, lined up with uh, blind back ends. I guess they uh, don't RV the planners. So this is halfway down this loop. There's a pass through down there. I don't particularly like those sites. I think I like most of the sites I like are on that uh, ravine side. They seem to offer more privacy. A lot of these sites uh, on this side, they go up quite a hill. You can see how that goes up to a flat spot, which is nice if you have a small RV. Whereas on the other side, they're more uh, flat. And also, the more you get towards this end of it, the more you're going to be towards the road there. The highway goes by this end of it. So this is the main entrance. Through here. Yeah, you can see how it banks up a lot of these because it's quite a bit uh, on a hillside here. These sites on this side are just okay. We're getting down to where the better quality sites that you might actually get ocean glimpses and hear the waves because the ocean isn't too far from the sites here on the right. You can see those all along the right here. They go through the trees. That's where that other road comes out. So it's basically two loops. Looks like they can close this off in the off season if they want. I'll show you one of the better sites that I like is 20. Right here. See, nice flat site, pretty deep. And then it goes in and you can see glimpses of the ocean back there. Hear the waves crashing. It's pretty nice. But at least the roadway is pretty wide. There is ditches on each side for drainage, so you kind of have to watch when you're backing in that your uh, truck tires don't fall into the ditch on the other side. But it's a lot more open than a lot of places I've been. Unless you don't uh, particularly like backing up, then it's probably not so good for you. There's not very many sites that are easy to get into. You can see you got to get close to those poles and then you'll have trees on each side. Anyway, that's just a quick drive around. back home. Oh yeah, I should mention the price. So here's our ticket we paid for seven nights. 26 bucks a night for 182 altogether. That's Canadian dollars. And I believe there was like somewhere around like an eight dollar something reservation fee. I can't quite remember but the if you go online you get reservations. That's the best way to go. You can come and uh, 
do walk-up camping if there's no reservations on a site it'll show available and that means it's good for that night and then you have to kind of check the next day you might have to move around or whatever but the, they do have some walk-up if there's not uh, any reservations going on checkout time you see is 11 a.m seems to be the way with the provincial parks here in vancouver island i've complained to them before mainly because um none of very few of the sites have electric hookups or dump state or dump hookups on their site so you have to go to the dump station when you leave if everybody's leaving 11 a.m is pretty early so it gets to be a big line up at the dump station it's it all crowded so and a lot of the parks, you know, down in the U.S., like Oregon, California, it's more like 1 o'clock checkout time. So it kind of staggers the rigs that are leaving and going through the dump station. But what can you do? Government planners, I guess. So here's a short path from the parking lot down to the beach. Nice wide path. And down here they have a, a good day use area, lots of picnic tables and benches, that sort of thing. You can sight whales right off of here. Minky whales, orca, harbor porpoises, Pacific harbor seal, stellar sea lion, California sea lion, gray whales, humpback whales. So this is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Pretty calm today. Nice day for a little hike on the beach. See some uh, paddleboarders out there. Right across the strait is uh, Washington State Olympic Peninsula. So that'd be uh, Olympic uh, National Park. I see off in the distance there's some uh, cargo containers heading out. Probably from the port of Vancouver they come out of here and then they head across to uh, Asia. Strange thing over here, a whole whack of tires. Huh. You never know what's gonna wash up on the beach. There's also a nice path just on the upper part of the beach here you can walk along. A little more sheltered up here. Big bees doing their business, big bumblebee.
People like to come down here and rock hound. So many different varieties of stones on the beach. And they get all wet by the tide. All kinds of different uh, colors and textures. An orangey one there. Joker. at one end of the beach on the little trail so I'm gonna go see if I can take a look down the other side of the point somehow Yeah, I followed a trail, but it ended up at private property. Still a lot of big trees over here. A few left anyway. Looks like that's a pretty steep hill to climb. The tide's a little high to be messing around on the rocks to go around. Oh well, another time. Well, I gotta say, this time of year, a really relaxing place to come. Campground wasn't too busy, and hardly anybody on the beach. Get a nice day like today, go for a hike, grab a log, hang on, look for whales. Well, next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers, folks.